This summer, the city of Angels was the city of labor uprisings. 100,000 striking workers hit the streets demanding better pay in what became known as the hot labor summer. Some 11,000 city workers have walked off the job. They're joining thousands of striking writers, actors, and hotel workers who have already been picketing. Some heated moments as striking hotel workers clashed with security outside the Fairmont Miramar Hotel in Santa Monica. Today, we're getting right in the middle of this strike action. And then we're going out to revisit the most unemployed county in the state to see how job stuff's going out there. But first, real quick, let's talk about why there's this sudden surge in labor unrest. The national debt is $33.5 trillion, and it's growing every second. So it has quadrupled in 15 years. It's insane, the spending. It is absolutely insane. The channel and Invest Answers put together these great visuals for what a billion, a trillion, and $33 trillion looks like if it were $100 bills stacked up. Elon Musk points out that America's true debt based on future obligations is actually double that. But to keep it simple right now, we'll stick with 33.5 trillion. If every US citizen had to pay that debt off, everybody, even like homeless people, would owe $100,000. But of course, we'll never pay the debt down because America spends money like a coked up trophy wife in Beverly Hills. Last year, America took in $4.9 trillion from taxpayers, but it spent $6.27 trillion. Put it on the credit card. Most of that money went to Medicare, Social Security, but also fun stuff like war. And the fourth biggest part of our national budget is the funnest of all, interest payments on our national debt. Interest payments meaning the bonus we pay to people like China for loaning us that money, those payments are ballooning to close to a trillion dollars a year. How do we afford all this shit? We can't. So we just print the money like tickets at Chuck E. Cheese. Really fast, I wanna use a different word for people. If you change one word from print to counterfeit, people understand what's actually happening. And so if you think of printing money as government approved counterfeiting, this is literally the equivalent of a guy at home with a printing press just making more money. That's right. This money printing leads to inflation. Inflation caused by money printing is a tough idea to wrap your head around. And believe me, the government wants it that way. So let's try an analogy. When I was in high school, Ed Hardy was the coolest clothing brand. You wore one of those shirts to a house party and you were gonna get a Hummer in the laundry room. But as the brand got more and more popular, the warehouses had to blow out their printers in order to meet the demand. Soon, everybody had one of these shirts and the aura had faded. When 45 year olds with frosted tips and nipple piercings started rocking Ed Hardy to pick up on junior college bitches at the bar, the bubble had officially burst. Something that was once valuable and scarce became common and cheap as more and more of it entered the market. But right now, the US dollar is like Ed Hardy shirts. And we've seen how this works financially before. In post-World War I Germany, the government printed so much money to pay off their war debts that citizens needed like a suitcase full of cash in order to buy a sandwich. Historically, this kind of inflation leads to political radicalism. Printing money causes those with financial assets to benefit relative to those without financial assets. So the wealth gap typically grows between the rich halves and the poor have nots. Eventually, the financial bubble bursts, which leads to the printing of money and increased internal conflict between the rich and the poor, which leads to some form of revolution to redistribute wealth. I don't remember what happened in Germany in the 30s and 40s, but I think there's a chance it was a little problematic. Political radicalism is what's happening here and now in this country, and especially in Los Angeles during this hot labor summer. Workers are getting paychecks with the same dollar amount as always, but money printing has caused the price tags on things like apples, gas, rent to inflate. So workers, understandably angry, go on strike and direct their vitriol at their employer. And of course, government employees, the ones actually responsible for the wholesale bludgeoning of the poor and the middle class, they sigh with relief. Their job's secure, 
and their crimes undetected. Only those with the keenest of ears hear the hum of the government money printers, working deep into the night. Right now, the list of people striking includes hotel workers, teachers, city workers, bus drivers, actors, writers, video game voice actors, car employees. I thought to myself, you know who's not represented out there fighting for a better wage? Gay porn fluffers. And therefore, we hit a local labor protest as just that. Also, you know what holds its value in these inflationary times? Danny Mullen merch, baby. Oh, yeah. Big resale value. The opposite of Ed Hardy. Also, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. God knows there's an inflation of crummy channels on YouTube, and you gotta stick to the real quality assets like this. New videos every Sunday at 9 a.m. Yes! Fluffers on strike, baby! We have to prepare the actors for the set, and sometimes we're not into it, man. And sometimes it takes an hour, hour 45. It should be 25 an hour is what we want. And how about some mouthwash? How about some scope on the damn set? How about no more angry pirates? How about not abusing yeah. the, not talent, but employees? They do things that are horrific. The angry pirate, shot in the eye, kicked to the shins. And, and then they laugh, they laugh. They think it's something to laugh at when it's, my Fuck. sheen, there, there's a calcium deposit because of how many times I get hit in the same sheen. I get hit again and again and again and again. He's nearsighted too. I'm not sure if there's any correlation, but it's not helping. It's always my right eye, man. What's up, guys? Uh, we just want to come out and join the cause, man. Show our support. Thank you uh, for, you know, Oh, not this guy again. <laughs> Come on, dude. We're on strike, dude. We're on strike. You are not, you are not welcome. Sir, you can't put hands on me. Don't ask you to leave. Titi's there. We have a lot of, we have a lot of, viva kai, Fidel. Fidel. Don't be an elitist, man. We gotta make a buck, too. You guys shouldn't be. Well, totally better, you know? I get you. Because that guy, that guy raped someone on the back. Nope. I know, I don't like these guys. Yeah, this no, is... well, you don't need to hang that up then, yeah. not here. He make it for me, he make well, it. Well, you don't need to hang that up Wait. here. Oh, Ron Jeremy? He was in our reasoning for a long time. But do you, you get the pun, though? I don't they care about the pun. You because the fluffers that, are on get strike, so we're not... And he's the auto fellatio guy. But we're on strike, why you guys always do this? Wait, get rid of Ron Jeremy. No Ron Jeremy. Come on, dude, why did you bring him out here? Why did you make that sign, man? No, we are too, we are too. No, we're workers. Ron, f Ron Jeremy, man. F Ron Jeremy. Okay, Get rid of him in half. Okay. He's a rapist bastard. He's a rapist bastard, bastard man. We got kids and seniors here. Do you think, really think this is necessary? We, just, we want to help out and spread the words. Well, this is not the word. You need to be spreading at a workers' event. So you need to I, This is our you know, profession. Workers okay, this is a workers' too. somewhere else, but not here. Can we just run through our demands? I don't what? know. Go. Y'all need to leave with that shit. We, this we is the profession. The this profession we show. This, this is what we show. This is what we show. Look, look. Yeah. We gotta go with that. I am sorry, yes. We're here from the city as well, so we just wanna make sure that you guys yeah. are sure, aware. Sure. We're not yeah. just like trying to push on you. I get it, this I get it. Yeah. This is an understanding. This is a councilwoman. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you, councilwoman. My name's Daniel. Big fan. This is what Many, many. Big fan. So, understand some level of respect here in general. Sure. Normally, I wouldn't be doing this because I would like to think that as human beings, we can have a little level of respect. Sure, sure. Okay. The Ron Jeremy thing was uncalled for. Of course. It, it, it was, was a meme he found on Reddit. That wasn't cool. I, I'm sorry. I did yes. not. No, I these, have American I customs are very these, difficult for me. Exactly. But even these. I don't know who Ron Jeremy is. Once again, right? right? Families, kids, all of these things. These are the things that you have to be conscious about. <laughs> these two should go See, all the way over there good. and not Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. So you guys can what? go all the way over there and not here. You would make a good fluffer, man. You would. Can you we would talk to you about this? The fluffer. You know, okay, we can tell you what a fluffer yeah, yeah. is. It's what we do. So in gay pornography, the stars, they have a trouble maintaining their erection. Correct. And they need two hot mouths like ours to fluff them between scenes. Yes, we, of course we are gay. What do you mean? What kind of question? I'm well, not gay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Prove it. I'm not gay. See? See? Not even gay. No homosexuality. No, talk to each other is gay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, yeah. That would pull See, right. I don't understand why you guys show up here. Because not every protest... Wait! Hey, hey, hey! You see that? I can oh, see one more time, one more time. Okay, you guys know you're not wanted here, right? Yeah. 
you guys know that? We are part of the labor unions, kind of. We're trying to get into it. We're trying to we, unionize. You want to hear our pitch, man? I'm talking We're to the human being. You're not wanted here. So I, he's I'm, a, he's I'm, a per, you're because you're a person of color. I get it. I'm in entertainment. Yeah. And, and, the you're, and you're eroding it. So, oh, is this illegal what we're doing? No, no, you're just an you asshole. Oh, you're just an asshole. And you're not for calling us an asshole to our face. Oh, can we? We didn't kiss yet. We didn't. Ki we got a kiss for this man. We got a kiss for this. Oh, how original! Ah, yes. Do you see that? That's proof. It was. It's proof. Yes. Guys, let's go. We just kissed for you. We're trying to get a raise. Twenty-five bucks a pop ain't enough. Then why not go where the jewelry stores are because that's where all the money is, where people can afford it instead of going here when we're not prostitutes. We're not freelancing, dick sucking on the. Damn. Downtown block. We get tested, man. We test it all the time. Yeah. We have to get tested just like the regular performer. Over there, or over there, or anywhere in this area except here. Because these are union-minded people. These are labor-oriented people. They're here for affordable housing. But this is what we do. This is, we're sex worker, man. You know why? Why are you frowning down on the sex worker, man? Nothing against sex workers. Thank you. There's common ground. There's common ground for the first time. Thank you. I have nothing against this. Fist bump? But Peace what bump? I have against is idiotic provocateurs like yourself. Remember what happened in 2020? What happened? Yeah, I know those people who were there, and they know what exactly do to you. What happened in 2020? Wait, are you throwing you? All right, Nick, come with us. How much are the Rothschilds paying? How much are the Hulk yeah. Brothers paying? The Roth I, was about I wish the Rothschilds are paying me, dude. Because well, I mean, right now, Black know, Angel Studios are paying me, and it's not much. 10 plus is a really specifically probable sign. There's no way you got I mean, I'm gonna get that sign. I'm gonna get that So let's talk about 10 inches. And why are you inquiring about 10 inches? Are you trying to get fluffed? It's a very specifically improbable size. There's no way that you have enough people to cover for that. Well, we're in the pornography industry, baby. Yeah. There's a ton of people with that size. One can even call it a mandatory. It's just getting tight on us. At the very least, I'm entitled to no more angry pirates. There's kids here. Yeah, they like that language. They love it when you There's swear. Kids here. Yeah, you just said F word and the A word in front of two kids. You know, I don't think it's. Yeah. Hey. If you would stop hey. touching me, I'd really love it. You would stop, stop. touching my cameraman, I'd love it. I never touched it. Yes, you did. You were all over it. Well, lots of kids here. People bought kids here. I don't think it's appropriate. Well, tell her to clean up her language. Okay. Well, Your well, act I'm is disgusting, it. miss. And look at her. Manny look at her shirt. No, That's encouraging crazy. the same thing that this is encouraging. Absolutely. You want to fluff her shirt? We got fluff her shirts for you, dude. See, this guy supports our cause. Oh, Unlike oh, you. Oh, oh, nice. Unlike you. All right, I got to go, though. <laughs> You're an asshole. I suck 10 inch for $25. Ooh. I suck 10 inch. Yeah. Yummy. It's not yummy. We are here because we want to join the labor union too. We want to be a part of these. Well, then why didn't you contact some of the labor leaders? Because well, we're trying. What do you mean? We're these? fluffers, dude. We don't know how to contact important people. We don't know we're not how to very do smart. nothing, man. We, well, we, 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 we see a dig, we get it hard. That's it. That's our job. You guys, well, you guys can email the labor leaders if you want to actually join the movement. If they get an email from Fluffmaster68 at Yahoo, do you really think they're going to respond? I mean, yeah, if you have a point. But, but listen, he's, when they, he describes his job, describe your job. Tell us me what you do. I get in a refrigerated car, I get taken down to Tijuana, now, this and then at the gunpoint, have to suck an 11 inch dick in a basement. Uh -huh. And it is filmed, and it is immediately put on the dark web. Yeah, okay, I mean, if you guys have a website or something. We don't have the website. He doesn't get a cut of the pay. No, we don't own the means of production. profiting he, on him, okay. without him getting a dime. On he my gets, mouth. 25 for a cut, for one D. One D, $25. He, that's it, man, we need help, man. Well then contact the labor leaders. We're going in circles now. And we're not even gay, man. Hey, the secret between us, we're not even gay. Yeah, I know. I know you think you're funny, but you're not We just, we didn't have to. You're a homophobe and a racist, miss. That's what you are. And that tongue is foul. As you said, there are children here. Put your fork tongue back behind your teeth. You scare me, man. You do Santeria or some shit, man? Put on some deodorant. Do everybody a favor. You're assholes. Hey, are, I, I think she's a bruja. I think she's a bruja. She's a wish. What is it you guys are doing? We're trying to get more money. For what? For sucking dick. But like, is it like a TikTok thing? Or like, how do you monetize? 
I'm curious. I need you. I have a rule that women over 40 and under fives on a scale of one through 10 can't be within arm's reach of me. That's my rule. Oh, you're an educator. No, we don't like under oh, so. No, I just when I'm not doing gay stuff, I like to be around beautiful women. That's what I like. You're so gross. I hope you know that. You, that is a bold statement from somebody as physically unattractive as you. You think about anything. Well, You're you'll die alone someday. I, I think you need like to shampoo your hair. You know and then, man, there's no reason for you to be here. Leo, like, you know, tell some of these people what we're here for. Tell them instead. Estamos aquí porque somos trabajamos en 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 el programa. We're interrupting a person of color. You're interrupting a person of color. You're interrupting a voice of color. You're interrupting a Latino voice. You like? This guy loves. Thank you, Matt. Higher wages. Higher wages. You guys need to go. Bye bye. Bye bye. No, I thought, you and I are friends now. We're not friends. I think we're your friends. You wanna have a, you wanna have a drink sometime? You drink? No, because I already have friends. So you guys need to go. Do you like smoke a little bit or? Over there. We want hazard pay. Hazard pay for ten plus. It's not easy to do what we do. It's, it's not, not easy, easy at all. Do what we do. It's not easy on the jaw. It's even harder on the soul. That's right. Fluffers on strike. Trabajamos en la pornografía, señor. Señor, trabajamos. I'm ready. Tell them we're ready to march. Señor, vamos a marchar con ustedes. Yeah. Por qué no? But on the other corner. Tell, tell them we'll go to the ends of the earth for the cause. Hey, vamos hasta la muerte, señor. Hasta la muerte. Tell him that there have been too many dingy basements, too many 12-inch penises, too many gag reflexes triggered. Tell him all that. Hemos, hemos chupado muchas vergas que no lo, lo, no lo gustan. Leo, tell him when I moved to Hollywood, I had stars in my eyes, and I never in my wildest dreams imagined being on my knees before Ron Jeremy in his prime, being forced to take every crooked inch of that 11 inch Jewish schlong. Can you tell him all that, please? And can you do an honest job trying to do this? Tell him all yeah. that, man. Yeah, 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 okay, please, please. Señor, uh, él está diciendo que cuando vino a Hollywood, nunca pensó. Stop stars in my eyes. Nunca tenía muchas estrellas en los ojos. Yeah, yeah. Y nunca pensó que iba, iba a estar chupando una verga de Ron Jeremy cuando estaba en su prima. Y eso es lo que estamos acá peleando para hoy. Queremos pelear para que los dejan, los, 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 los dejan una, una, una... Did that make much impact? It, it, didn't, it didn't seem like you translated that well, Leo. I tried, man. It was kind of a hard one, man, you know? That's true. The Jewish That's true, I gave you a lot. I thought we were friends. I thought we were getting a drink later, man. We mended the relationship. It was rough how we left it off at the climate strike. We agree with you, but hey, we're, we're on your side, just so you guys know. While we were in the car, the fr one of the things I said as we were pulling up is I hope to God that some of the people from the climate strike aren't here too. And who's the first person we see, Nico? You just died laughing, dude. What's up, guys? How you doing? Fluffers on. They don't want us. They disowned us over there. Tratamos de queremos, you know, la 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 unión, you know. Together, man. Yeah, that's right. Labor. See, they entienden. They understand, man. Together, we are more powerful, man. That's right. All right, man. Yeah. yeah. You guys guard the jewelry mall. We guard a performer's right to an erection. Right. A gay performer. <laughs> <laughs> Later, gentlemen. Thank you so much. We got with us now classic crew member Indlin Iggy. In the flesh. Legendary. Wait, were you? Did you step over the picket line? I think he was fluffing cock this morning instead of striking. Ah, uh, come on. It's not worth the money. We need more money. Come on. Look, we all knew I got into the business for enjoyment, not the money. Okay, well, that's true. He just loves it. We're going to head right now in the spirit of our little strike to the most unemployed county in California year after year. Imperial. And you might remember that this was your squad for the original rating the most unemployed county video. We're headed down to El Centro right now to do some unemployed shit.
Watch out with this. So did I, dude. So did I. He's got a jail. Yeah, bro. He just got a jail, too, dude. First, he does have the Danny Mullen fade, though, dude. Put him in the middle, dog. I want to hit you with this dog. Yeah. What's up with the cut? Dude, look, you guys are you guys got the same haircut, Dude, bro. I, I was repping that cut in 2022. I rep, yeah, I was repping these kids since I was a little youngster. My Damn. hair used to come my hair when I was a kid. I never had no barber. You know so what I say? Right? I say you're a Danny Mullen copycat. Uh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Peso Pluma, I get it, dude. It's like kind of Peso yeah, they Pluma. Just, they just be calling here the bowl cut. The bowl cut, yeah. yeah. You, you just get the bowl cut, dog. Right now, you guys are in the north side right now. Okay. Uh, so I had a feeling we were in the north side. Yeah. Is this safe and shit, or? It's kind of hot right now. You guys will be out and about, but interview whoever you guys got to interview. It's a good, yeah. it's a good place. If you guys yeah. want to move down here for a family, it's a good place. I thought you just said it was hot. Start a family. I thought you said it was hot, meaning there's like gang violence. Yeah. Is there? Yeah, there is. There's a lot of gang violence here and there. There's been a lot of. I got a homie right now fighting in the feds. He's in the he's in the federal courts with oh, the marshal. Oh shit! I got one fighting two attempted murders right now. Federal oh. way. Um, it's getting hot. Uh, yeah. Hey, free him though. He didn't do yeah, it, dude. Whoever he is, I know he hey, didn't do it. Guy. Can we say his name? Can we say free him into the camera right now? Free him. Uh, no, free the homie. And what'd you just do right there? Yeah. Was that, were you just stretching out your knuckles? Uh, nah, no. <laughs> Show us what that was again. That was the I, the M, the P, the S, and the T for the PST IX3, homie, Big okay. Bad Impetresi. Yeah. You know, we represent on this set, you know, we stay active and Damn. represent. Shout out the homie. We got the homies that rap and trying to make it out the valley. We make it out. We're trying to make it out of here, the valley, the valley. Can you offer us your protection? My yeah. protection, yeah. how could we go for you guys' protection if you guys come to Impe? You guys would be good, you guys are certified, you guys are checked in. All right, cool, we're going to have to do, we're, we're checked in, we're checked in. Hey, we're checked in. We got to do it. All right, hell yeah. We hey, we checked in. Hey, love the hair, bro. I was just fucking with you. I was just yeah, fucking with you, bro. Everybody go fuck with it, but the hey. bitches fuck with it the most. Let's go, man. Yeah. The bitches yeah. fuck, you hear that? Yeah. You get that DM yeah. fade. Yeah. We're just hanging out, dude. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do, dude? What do you do, dog? Oh shit! And I just want to let you know, man. We've been officially initiated into this gang on the north side of town. So if we lend credence to your clothing brand here, it's a big endorsement. This is, you know, our little shop that we got going on. Okay. I love it, man. And then, how often are you bringing some chicks over here? That's a question. Hey, you know what? That's a. Uh... I need to know answer. <laughs> and you're right, my man. No basis. And I need to know. Oh, you, got hey, the, you got the Kobe? Wait a second. Who's dude? asking, you dog? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, to the guy. Stuff. What kind of lens is that? Bro? Imperial 13's asking. Imperial 13's asking. Oh, I, I ain't repping nothing, man. You know, we, we love Hell Central, though. We got <laughs> El Central hats right down there, man. That's dope. I like the El yeah. Central hats, huh? What That's was really your name, sick, man? Dude. My name's Danny. Danny V's. <laughs> yeah. <Dude. laughs> That's funny. Danny and Danny boy. You're both Danny, dude. Hey, bro, you know what a tocayo is? What's that? That means you're my boy, dog. Just because we share the same name. I was going to get mad because people are copping my hairstyle and my name. How can you hate this guy, you know what though? I'm this is fire. Give me a hat, dude. Uh, how many, what's, uh, what's the operation now? How many employees? Bro, honestly, we had this thing we were trying to run for a couple months where we had to <coughs> hook up with the school. But the economy is <coughs> man. The program failed. So I'm waiting till next school year to see what's up with that. Okay. The economy, man. It's, it's too bad you can't go on strike as an entrepreneur. Yeah. It's fluffers. I mean, we don't got a union, so we sort of get it. Fluffers. Or fluffers. You know what a fluffer is? Not aware of it, man. Well, you know, uh, there's pornography, right? Okay. In pornography, there's dicks. See, Mom? Those dicks got to get hard. Okay. And sometimes the guys can't get them hard by themselves. Okay, yeah, yeah, like blue chew and all that shit, right? Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's something chew. Oh well, yeah, there's there's some chewing in there. Uh, oh. We're not gay though. If you that if that's what you're thinking. Hey, no, we're no, not. no. Hey, like, I wouldn't I do it for judge, free. You know, we in Cali, bro. All four. You know, we yeah. international over here with the border ten or rock. Right. Thing. Exactly. So you, you get know, it's just a hustle. Cool. Like we don't like to. It's just you know twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. <laughs> Imperial County, Iggy, are you getting a generally worse vibe than when we first visited? I'd say a lot worse. Seems like the entire town's dead. 
Yeah, should we try to flag this this Nissan Cube down? There's a couple ladies in there. All right, Leo, they already... Ladies, what's hey. going on? We're doing a YouTube video about Imperial County. Do you guys want to be interviewed? Yeah. yeah, you guys want to be interviewed for yeah. The YouTube? Yeah, pull over. Wow. Leo, your talent for the ladies. Even here... Is she said, is, is that Peso Pluma, dog? They think you're Peso Pluma, dog. All right, should I pretend I'm peso? Yeah, dude, you're peso. Hey, pluma. como esta? Peso! La, 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 la. I'm not sure that's... Uh, hello, how are you? Hola, como estas? Peso! So, how are you from, uh, you from the area? Centro. El centro? Si. Sí. Tell them in Spanish that I'm peso pluma. Si, sí, you are? El es peso pluma, si. Sí. Si, sí, you look like this. El es peso pluma. You got his hair too, man. He has the peso pluma hair sí. too. He said, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Leo, hype me up a little more, man. Él, uh, él es uh, peso pluma y tiene muchos followers on Instagram. And, yeah. Mamacita. Oh, chica muy guapo. Yeah, sí. Es Carla. Sí. Soy Carla. Y tienes uh, un novio. I'm asking her if she has a boyfriend. No, ¿Tienes no novio? Tiene. Oh, no. Oh. Soy oh. Guido. She's Guido. Guido. Oh, yeah. Soy Guido de Niger. I think Niger. Uh, her husband. Oh, Pero Sabado. Pero okay. Sabado. Yeah, perdón, perdón. <laughs> perdón, her husband died and you said, but Saturday? Haciendo? Thanks a lot, dude. What's that? Why? Uh, Pero esta baños que tarda. Si, sí, dos baños. Oh, oh, there is two bathrooms. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's somehow that communicated to them. This is great. <laughs> Peso pluma, español, da donde? El, uh, sí, mucho gusto. Uh, mucho gusto. Oh, yeah. oh, ¿qué está pasando? Yeah, she's like, what's happening? So casabo, un bien. How are you communicating? I don't know. I speak great Spanish. I'm peso pluma. They want you to say, like, say a couple sentences. Oh my God. Uh, un muy alto, un piscos, un tortilla. I like it, tacos. In Poco. On the lips. Yeah. Se ves? Oh, un beso? Yeah. No, 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 dale. ¿Por qué? No, ¿por qué? Por respeto. Por respeto. <laughs> Leo, what did you just observe? Well, I think Iggy observed it also, but uh, it was that there, the only things open in this entire town seem to be two vape shops, and they're very close to each other. We got Main Street Vapery, and what was the other one? Deluxe Vapes. Deluxe Vapes. Deluxe Vapes looks like uh, pretty it's massive it's over better, there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a symptom of a city in decay Yeah. when the only business that can stay afloat is a business that helps people numb themselves. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, I'm not opposed to buying some some nicotine products in there. They might have a, z a Zin in there, right? How about this, Leo? What? In order to both stimulate the local economy and yeah. also make peace with some very scary looking people we just saw, yeah. after we buy these, you, Iggy, and even me, yeah. we're gonna say we're professional vapors from up north. And we're gonna go do vape tricks for the bums. I love it, but the only unaware condition because me and Iggy know this is gonna be funny. You have to take a real deep, long pull right, of a it. vape. Yeah, for them. And it's gonna go real well. Is that my trick? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, oh, that's yeah, that's gonna be your trick, all right. It's gonna keep people entertained. That's gonna entertain the masses. Good, yes, that's exactly right. What's up, guys? What's happening, guys? We're, we're doing a little vid on El Centro, man. We thought we'd swing in. This is the only business we saw open. Yeah. Anybody ever tell you you're like, Everybody, bro. Everybody's telling them that, bro. He's got the Peso Pluma cut, dude. A 45-year-old Mexican widow might have just kissed me on the lips because I look like him. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Was she 45? She might have been 55, but that's okay. She was real cute. Yeah. That's an exaggeration. So, uh... 
we wanted to grab some vape pens and uh, we're gonna go try to entertain the junkies over there with some vape tricks. This is a, ser it's a serious vape place. I didn't. I don't, I don't think we can get disposable vapes here. Yeah, you can. Dude. Yeah, we got them. Oh, you do? Oh, okay, cool, cool. We got the 6,000 here, we got 9,000 here. What's, what's the on the What's up? Where, where, are where are you guys from? <laughs> yeah, where are you guys from? Hell yeah, man. Welcome. Well, I'm really okay. curious how you guys made it down to El Centro. Uh, so we're in the military. We work in the oh, the military. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. dope. Nice. nice. We found this guy on YouTube, on uh, Google, so. Oh, dope. They came back. <laughs> How's the morale in the armed forces? Oh, uh, it's, it's good. We're good. It's good. Yeah. You shook your head yeah. no yeah. when you yeah. said it was good. <laughs> Hey, ask me how the morale is. How's the morale good? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> how much is the, I, I don't even know. What does that mean? Six, 6,000 what? So they average, they get approximately up to 6,000 puffs. Look at me right now, man. Look at me in the eye. How many puffs am I actually going to get out of this thing? I have no idea. I'm going to say realistic. I don't use the disposable. Yeah, yeah. Realistically, I like 2,000. If I don't get at least 5,500 puffs, I'm gonna burn the place down. I hope not, bro. He's I'm gonna burn yeah. the place He's down. Tally. They gonna tally them? Yeah. One by one, we got an. Here we go, dude. Oh, I think a real hit, dude. <laughs> this guy vapes though. Look, take hey, vape clouds. True addicts. Well, well, the tricks you go. I feel like. Do you have some tricks, man? Come on, blow some bows. I know you can blow it up. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Okay, so he's blowing some bows. Hey, he's the vape daddy, dude. Uh, you right. can't you can't even inhale this fully, dude. It'll make you f it's uh, gonna demolish you. Listen, I am gonna pull out the sickest f vape tricks you've ever seen at that park. Everybody's gonna wear their clothing as if they were a professional vapor, though. That's not gonna work with these. Alright. I'm going sleeves. I'm going sleeves out. Guns I'm, out. I'm wearing this completely wrong. I gotta go over the shoulder yeah, with the yeah, shit. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I got you. What's up, guys? We're professional vape smokers from up north. Mind if I hit a couple tricks for you? Hey, he's just a professional vaper, dude. He's pro vape. He's in the uh, IV circuit right now. If you guys want to, how's it going, man? If it's cool, yeah. If you guys, if you guys want to see him vape it up, dude, he's fucking. I'm gonna blow some O's, my man. All right, here I go. Hey, we ready? Ready for this shit? Yep. Big rip, Dan. Oh shit! All right, you gotta land that. He's working on that. He's been he's been working that in open vape mics. He's been going to open vape mics like mad, trying to, to work that shit. I'm just more like, watch. I don't even put my lips on that shit. Just. All right, now you got. This is our uh, our ace, ace on our, up our sleeves, dude. This guy's. He's a real power vapor, dude. He's a power vapor, dog. This guy's a power vapor, dog. Hey, Iggy, hit that shit. Oh, shit. <coughs> oh, shit, dude. Oh. Damn. Coughing gets you DQ, dog. How can you come into El Centro with that weak shit, dog? Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Hit that shit like you know it, dog. Get, do the double. Do the double. Get hit the, the tornado, double. Dog. Get the double, dog. Hit the double tourney. The double, double tourney. Come on, baby. Double tornado. There it is, there it is. He's winding up! Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, shit. I can't even watch this, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, dog. It's, I think you broke it. It's out, bro. Oh. I think Dude. I broke the vape. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We suck today, to be completely honest. This is not our best show. Uh, sometimes, you know, it, it sucks, you know, when you have a bad show like this, it makes you question why you even do this stuff. I mean, we've been professionally vaping for like five, six years now, and it's, it's made us no money, and... Well, let's not speak too soon. <coughs> yeah, we usually, no. we usually take uh, some change. Of, we we got to ask at the beginning, dude, because then they fucking see the show. It wasn't a very good show, was yeah, it? I'm like... $35 that is bullshit, bro. Like, I kind of want to go back to the guy, but it's over. Oh, let's go back there, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dude. 
We got three puffs out of it. <laughs> a couple puffs shy of 6,000 at least. Wait, wait, wait. I will say, man, I don't know if this is part of it. We did drop it. I can't make him give us a new yeah. one. <laughs> you could have listened. I did a breakdancing move and I dropped it. So, yeah, I can't, I can't take advantage of Main Street Vape because I think you're not supposed to let them hit the concrete. What's with the vest? Haha, <laughs> dude. You at work, Doug? No, I'm off. He said, I'm off. That's it. Dude. But right now, wherever he is, it's secure, Leo. And right now, this courtyard's secure. Yes, facts. Dude. So, how do you feel about this job? Are they paying you well? Uh, I know there's a lot of strikes going on in LA. Yeah, bro. We're, fluff we're fluffers on strike. on strike, dude. How's it going? The pay? Right now, honestly, it should be more. It should be more, but it's not. So, what are they paying you? What should you yeah, get? Yeah, so I'm telling you, it's, right now it's undisclosed. No, no, no. Honestly, it's not enough either way. Yeah. He's going to All right, let's guess. Spot. Let's guess. Okay, it's between 12 and 20 an hour. Pretty much, yeah. So that gives us eight options. Okay. Let's all guess. Well, honestly, I got to take off in a bit, honestly. Uh, 13. Uh, 13. I guess 13. No, I, like I said, I don't know the, uh, like, I don't, I don't know 15. the amount right now. So you're you're working for free, essentially. They haven't paid you yet or told you what uh, you're yeah, getting paid, or you're withholding it from us? Yeah. No, no, no. It's just exactly like you said. I don't you're withholding know. it from us? No, no, no. They don't. I don't know they the details yet. Great. Yeah. I would get those details squared out before you do a lick of work, Sonny. <laughs> yeah, we've heard the serious. I mean, so I'm working for very the, hot. the Spirit Halloween right there. So. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, shit, you're working for the Spirit Halloween? Yeah. Does Chico is crazy over there or what? Uh, a lot of homeless. Oh, I bet. Listen, you get it. <laughs> yeah. listen, I don't, this is textbook because mm -hmm. Leo, I see myself as a union head. Okay. We had to form our own Fluffers Union today at the protest okay. here in El Centro. And if they're making this man work without even promising him, any sort of defined compensation, yeah. then we're gonna go into the spirit Halloween and we're gonna bargain on his behalf. <laughs> well, is it third party? They can't, not the spirit. Man. It's not, yeah, see, third party, but that's okay. We're gonna, yeah. you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna tell him a tall tale about you saving us over here. Something <laughs> crazy, Danny, Danny, something outrageous. I know you're a great storyteller. You're oh, yeah. gonna be the one that's gonna tell him. Oh, yeah. A story of his heroics. What's your name? <clears throat> I, I'm not comfortable saying my name. It's all right. We can, we can say the guy that looks like Antonio Banderas stopped working out and maybe had a couple of bites to eat for a while there, for a couple of years. We're going to get you paid. I can't what? Uh huh. Well, there's a task at hand. There's something really important that yeah. needs to be said. Yeah, you know what you can't do? You can't pay your security guards on spec. Because yeah. we talked to round Antonio Banderos out there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he said, well, you guys haven't even given him a wage yet. You haven't put a number on it. Yeah. That's not okay with me. Because we're undercover labor Yeah. You guys know the guy with the band, you know, the hair, the bun, you know what I mean? The, uh, your security. Yeah, this guy right here. We're trying to negotiate a raise for him. A what? A raise. He is a, a, first of all, he's an amazing employee. He's, he's, he's a scholar, he's sort of a philosopher. Have you guys talked to him? I offered him a cigarette and nip in my flask, he didn't take it. He told us though, you guys aren't paying him enough. He doesn't even know how much he's working for. Yeah, what well, the fuck I, is this? He works for another company, not like. That's kind of what he told us. Ah, oh, shit. So you guys, you guys aren't cutting him What's a up, check? What's up, Jesus? What's up, dude? What's up, man? How are you doing? You guys paying this guy okay? Yeah, dude. What's up, bro? Hey, Zeus, come here. Well. If you don't hold, hey, wait, wait, come back here, man. Where are you going? Oh, come on, we need to talk so, to you. My English is bad. Your English is not bad. I really like your English. People, people will love you. Trust me. You want to do this? We get a lot of views. Come on. No, it's okay. Well, I just want to make sure because. What's up, boys? How are you? Hey, we fought for you, dude. We fought for you, but apparently you're you're they're renting you out with a third party. We can't do anything about your wage. I'm sorry, man. I'm with the guys that lift over here. This guy's being he's being underpaid by a private security company. Nothing we can do about it. But. We're trying. We, we try Miss, you think we didn't try that? We, that was the first thing we did. It's a Saturday. They're closed. Gentlemen, you gotta go now. See so you guys. Yeah. I'm on the clock. Now yeah. he's gonna get. Now uh, gonna, after we tried to fight for you? You're gonna get, now kick us out? No, we have to what is there? You junior? Is this a fucking joke? I'm sorry, guys. Hey, we're gonna fight you. Dude, this, dude this is a supreme irony. I want you to know that around yeah. Antonio Banderos. This is not okay. I feel betrayed, Antonio. How do you sleep at night, Antonio? How do you sleep, dude? Well, El Centro. I don't know. 
it seems like it's rough around here. I get the feeling that everybody in there was underpaid or, I mean, they were hiring kids who probably aren't old enough to work illegally in the United States. Seems like in El Centro to be employed is to be taken advantage of. Yeah. Just like to fluff, Leo, Correct. is to be taken advantage of. Yes. And Niggy, Iggy knows that. Iggy knows that well. He's a sex worker. Underpaid, been taken overworked. Advantage. Yeah, underpaid, overworked. Iggy, you're a sex worker. I mean, you know this better than everybody. Yeah. Technically, I'm a sex worker, too. I've done stuff for money, you know, sugar mama. I understand where you're coming from. But, um, I don't know. We're going to keep checking in on this place because if we don't, no one will. If we don't, no one will. El Centro, you're in good hands. I'm just happy we checked in. <laughs>